So just kind of getting a little bit more granular on the events manager product. You know, as an administrator, uh, you can just get some real cryptic stuff uh, uh, when you start looking at those uh, event logs because you know the numbers go from different ranges and they have different meanings uh, depending on the uh, on what you're doing there. And to try to to try to actually sort through all that and, and start looking for an account lockout or whatever is just to be a Herculean task. Uh, you know, busy domain controller can generate, you know, what, 100, 200,000 events in a day uh, or more. And uh, who's got, who could possibly go through all of that? If you're trying to prove compliance that, yeah, we, we were on top of this, you've got a problem as an administrator or as a business owner. Um, so this is, uh, and then throw in not only servers, but routers firewalls, all that into the mix, uh, web servers, and it's just a huge task. So the ability to have some place for all this stuff to be filtered down to what is very important and get a comprehensive report on that is worth its weight in absolute gold. And uh, Events Manager is uh, probably one of the best priced products on the market that can handle this sort of thing for you. Um, Brand new to this version of Events Manager is support for Windows Server 2008 and with Vista. And by the way, as we know, Windows Server 2008 is going to have built-in virtualization tools. So we would expect that a lot of new servers coming online with it are going to run a host of virtual machines. Um, and again, um, I'm getting back to virtualization for a minute, whether it's a physical box or a virtual one, it's going to generate uh, events, so you want to you want to keep your mind on that as well when you're looking at the number of nodes and your roles. Uh, Vista has uh, uh, been addressed. It works very very nicely with Vista. It plays very well with Vista actually. Uh, I have a Vista machine uh, that I use. I actually have two desktops: a Vista Ultimate machine and a uh, OS 10 uh, machine as well. You can get very, very granular with the events. As I said, you can be very, very specific in your rules, what you want to see, what you don't want to see, and what devices you, that you see them from, whether it's, say, syslog from a Linux device or a, uh, from a web server, whatever. So you have all that granularity built in. Um, the SNMP trap, the SNMP traps um, uh, basically generate what's called MIB files uh, or uh, management information based files, MIBs, and uh, <coughs> there are definitions for those files in the 3Com and Juniper and Alcatel and Cisco and, and IBM and HP and Dell and SonicWall. All these guys uh, have those and you want to see maybe what's happening with routers and that kind of stuff so you can get those MIB definitions and get a really, really accurate reports on that. The uh, SQL auditing feature, uh, you know, that's huge. I mean, that's, that's a neat, neat, neat extra to have included in the software at no additional charge um, because SQL Server is becoming more and more pervasive all the time. And not just S the full-blown version, but the MSDE and the uh, SQL Express versions. I mean, a lot of apps now install SQL Express uh, with it, like Microsoft Office Accounting Professional does, um, um, out, uh, contact uh, was a Microsoft Contact Manager for Outlook uh, installs it. So a lot of different Microsoft applications now are installing that for mobility, uh, <clears throat> or for a small company that doesn't yet have a full-blown SQL server, they're they're delivering that product. So the ability to audit those databases is a uh, uh, extremely important. And of course the, the speed of which the system generates and processes the, uh, the, uh, the, the scanning of the events, well that's just, I mean it's critical and uh, Events Manager uh, has a pretty low uh, footprint. Uh, as I said you can get the, the, the database, uh, the WAN connector uh, at no additional charge with it so now you can go ahead and uh, uh, you can scan your, or you can scan your entire segments, your WAN, uh, with the uh, system. 
uh, and put into a centralized SQL database and then pull your reports against that. It used to actually be an extra cost. They're just giving it away now. And that was a couple thousand bucks at one time. And that's just now in, included with the product. So that just in, enhances the overall value of uh, Events Manager. Uh, the rule, the rule-based log uh, uh, management, um, very, very nicely done. Uh, fairly simple to understand. It can be a little quirky at times, but uh, you know it's not perfect. No, no, no software is, but generally speaking, it's not that terribly difficult to set that up. And then the advanced filtering services. Uh, it, it allows you to browse just the necessary events without deleting uh, uh, deleting uh, stuff from the system. So um, that's all good. It's built into uh, Events Manager. Um, so you can view these reports. So as I said, GFI out of the box. Uh, you can create or customize reports, and there is standard reports built in, such as account usage account management reports, policy change reports, object access reports, application management reports, print server reports, uh, Windows event log system reports, and event trend reports, how you're trending with events. Am I seeing more and more lockouts? I assume more and more uh, people trying to access uh, data that they shouldn't be. Um, and so all this is kind of you know built into the core product. and. But I just say at the end of the day, it's, it's just eliminating uh, the noise. Now, a lot of people say, well, you're going to have huge databases with this thing. Uh, if you're, if you're, all, this, all these events are going into a SQL database, you're going to generate these massive databases. Well, we have a tool, a free tool here, <coughs> that if you call us at 260-724-2748, we can help you plan SQL databases. Maybe you want to keep the database online. You know, maybe you want to do it by month and then uh, uh, back it up and then you know blow it out of there and put in another database. However you want to do it, but we can uh, give you some planning tools on that uh, as well. So Events Manager from GFI, really, really solid, solid product. Okay.